Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing one of my personal favorite scenes from Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 Part 1, which honestly might now be one of my favorite Ninjago scenes of all time. Now, before we go any further, I must give you guys a very heavy spoiler warning for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 Part 1. You have been warned. And the scene in question is the scene during Episode 3, The Crossroads Carnival, where Lloyd encounters the tent with the memorials for not only him, but also his fellow ninja and Master Wu. And like I said, I just want to talk about this scene really quick just because this really resonated with me after watching Dragons Rising, and I kinda can't stop thinking about this scene, so let's talk about why I love it so much. So the scene itself begins with Lloyd stumbling into a tent at the Crossroads Carnival. The tent itself includes several memorials for each of the missing ninja, Lloyd included. He then meets a couple of Ninjago civilians and has a chat with them, talking about how the ninja still inspire hope even when they're not there, and I really enjoyed this moment because not only is it a special, more tender moment for Lloyd, I think it also can apply to the Ninjago series itself. Even when there's not a new season out, even when it's not actively going on, I still find myself inspired by Ninjago as a series, and I find that even after all these years, it still manages to move me in some way, shape, or form. And I really like that feeling. Ninjago as a series is also something that can inspire people. Any piece of art can bring inspiration to somebody in some way, and I find that beautiful. So in a way, the characters in Ninjago the series will always remember the ninja, just like the audience will. Or at least, I know I will. I also really enjoy the moment where the kids tell Lloyd that he looks like one of them. Lloyd replies, yeah, a lot of people tell me that I look like the green ninja. They correct him and say, no, you look more like Master Wu. It's the beard. And while that might be a clever, funny throwback to Lloyd's not beard earlier in the episode, I find that it actually is a sign of Lloyd growing up. The fact that he resembles Master Wu more than he resembles himself just shows that Lloyd has grown up along with the audience and along with Ninjago as a series. It's a way to reflect. It shows how far the series and these characters, especially Lloyd, have come. I also really enjoy this scene because it seems like new Ninjago is just kind of paying their respects to older Ninjago in that regard, acknowledging how the series was, what it stood for, and vowing to do right by it with this new series with Dragons Rising. Some folks might say that maybe I'm looking a little bit too far into the scene, but honestly, what's the harm in that? There's no right or wrong way to interpret art, and even though Ninjago Jago the show might not be art to most people out there, the definition of art is pretty subjective, so anything can be art realistically. This scene just really resonated with me. I wanted to make a whole video talking about how much I love this scene, and like I said, this might be one of my new favorite Ninjago scenes throughout the entire history of the show. And with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Just wanted to give my thoughts on this scene and why I love it so much. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Do you like this scene as much as I do? Did it resonate with you as much as it did me? If not, no big deal. I might be alone in saying this, but I really enjoyed this scene. And it really hit close to home for me, so figured I would share my thoughts in today's video. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.